this is what the LCI Youth Camp is all about. Incredible praise and worship music combined with prayer, socializing with other young Christians, and the preaching of the Word. They all work together for an incredible, refreshing spiritual retreat in Jesus Christ. I'm gonna praise and worship. Everyone just joins in, it's so live and everything. Like you're not left out. Like it's all one. You don't need to be separated or everything. Like if you know the words, if you don't know the words, you get to know the words. Like if you don't, if, if even if you do, like if the, the instruments, the beat, everything is so good that you can even dance to, you can feel the beat in your heart. Praise and worship is really like powerful. It can touch you like your one-on-one -on -one time with God. It's my second time, my second time come. I mean, I came last year with expectation, obviously from other people, and uh, it was great. I mean, I met he met all the expectation and he went beyond last year. But this year we came and so far is that it just gone beyond again. Praise and worship, the preaching just it's cutting down, man. Last year when that like, was our first camp where we came. We thought, wow, this is amazing. So I hope you guys just do all you can to come to your camp next year as well. Don't lose this blessing, because I'm telling you, man, your life will never be the same. It's too much, it's too much. To all of you people who haven't been coming camp, that you need to come here, because once you come here, I promise you, you will never be the same again. Even me right now, even though I'm a church girl, I'm a Christian, I believe in God, I also know that once I leave here, I will not be the same. So you better come. Make sure you do. Camp this year is my first camp, obviously. I know it's such a big deal. Um, things I enjoyed about the camp would have been sharing my quiet time, as I've never shared my quiet time to anyone at all before. I mean, yeah, God's spoken to me, but to actually go out in front of a lot of people like that and share my quiet time, something that I've never done. You know, PD was great, he was awesome. The late nights were awesome as well you know the early morning and then two hours sleep you don't even need two hours anymore why not make it one or even half an hour you know just to rest but camp was amazing this year and i'm going to be coming back up until i'm 35. <laughs> After praising, dancing, and seeking God, one could feel a little hungry or a wee bit thirsty. Well, at camp, we were lovingly served with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The hot and cold breakfasts were delicious. The evening meals and desserts were scrumptious. The juice, however, was problematic. In past camps, orange juice was problems. But this time around... You would have thought that the orange juice was the problem juice this year. But this year, it's the black currant juice. This one, this one has the problems. <laughs> and if you don't like eating and drinking, you could always just make something amusing out of your food. And by the way, just so you know, this isn't a picture, this is a video. Oh, you're God bless you. Clive, God bless you. At Youth Camp, we always have prayer, praise and worship, and even praise parades. A kind of talent show where different branches prepare songs, poems, dramas, and other creative arts for the Lord. I'm getting a bit older and as you do, as for me, and my family, please, my eyes. As you know, around here, money ain't a thing. You know, money ain't a thing, so we have the lands, we have many cars, we have many horses, many cows. And I've been writing my will and I've divided everything. One for you, my dear son. And one for you, my dear son. No advice. You will die. And you are on the road to die. You need somebody to bother you. You need somebody to teach you something because there is nothing in your head. Are you listening to me?
many things happen at camp, but nothing as important as the preaching of the Word of God. Jesus our Lord says that the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. God speaks to us, but he does not speak through watching TV or spending hours on the internet. He speaks through his holy word. As we travel to a faraway place with no distractions, the Bible literally comes alive, ready to change us and light our way through our lives. For seven camps between 2004 and 2010, Reverend Oko Bote Doku was the main speaker for the UK youth camps. Reverend Oko is a pastor overseeing children's ministries in LCI Kodesh, the main Lighthouse Chapel International Church in Accra, Ghana. He was with us in spirit, however, as he sent us a video message all the way from Africa. For the 2011 youth camp, we were privileged to have the preaching of Reverend Gino Mills Oidoi. Known affectionately as PD, Reverend Gino is the pastor of LCI London Apache White Church. One of the reasons this camp was significant was because this was PD's very first camp message. And it was an anointed message on fathers, sons, and loyalty. Corinthians 4:15, explaining that there are different kinds of fathers that God gives to us. Through his connection to young people and his humorous, down-to-earth preaching style, we can see that Reverend Gino has been given by God to change lives forever as a pastor and as a father in Christ. I don't know if I'm more excited for him at this camp or for more excited for myself, but I just thank God that this is my second camp and um, that I've actually come back changed with my heart renewed, making a relationship with my fathers, spiritual fathers, um, fathers in Christ and substitute fathers better. I've been in my life now who's married my mum and recently it's like I've, I had to call him for, um, dad and it's been very hard. Since I've been at this um, camp, it's actually revealed to me that, it's, that you need to be loyal to your father and, and it's helped me so much. I'm gonna go home and now and show a different kind of relationship with my father, bring it back up, because I think that's one of the main things and this is what this camp has taught me today. The way PD finds ways to talk to us on a level which doesn't seem to diminish us, it makes us feel like actually really important to the whole thing. I like the whole praise and worship, the whole atmosphere of camp. It's just the best thing ever. Yeah, this is really getting me to actually really look and appreciate my fathers in my life, who they are, the role they play, and you know, really, I need to now learn how to be loyal to them, how to be more committed to them, so that God's plan concerning my life could be done. It's going to be powerful. I need to connect with my spiritual fathers. This is my second camp, and to be at a camp with Pastor D in his first camp, it feels like it's special. When I see him preaching, I see Reverend Okoye. He's like he's like. Yeah, it's amazing. So yeah, God bless you, Pastor B, and yeah, captive. 
Jesus Christ loves you. No matter what your past has been, and no matter what you've done, you can have this wonderful life in Christ just like these young people. You may not have had a ticket to see the Olympics, but you can have a ticket to a relationship with God and a place in heaven if you will be born again. It is worth giving your life over to the Lord Jesus. If you are not born again, and if you would like to have your sins washed away and start afresh with God, it starts with a simple prayer. You can pause the video here and pray this prayer in your own time. There is a father who longs to relate with and satisfy us. And as we packed our bags and said our goodbyes, we knew our lives had been transformed, all thanks to our Heavenly Father. Of course, this was not the end of the story. Youth Camp 2011 was significant for multiple reasons. It was Reverend Gino's first camp that he preached entirely. And for many of us, it was our very last youth camp. Some of us graduated out of the youth church. We would go on to continue knowing and serving the Lord, starting ministries, winning more souls, starting branches like the First Love Church, and leaving the UK as missionaries to other countries. The young people who have been at these camps and services over the years are called by God. We are a chosen generation of Christians, a royal priesthood called to serve Jesus Christ. Not everyone remains on course and nobody's perfect, but we pray that God's perfect will be done in our lives. We grew up together in life and in Christ in these youth camps and churches. Praying together, singing, dancing, even preaching, and ministering to other people our age. Being the odd ones out at school. Not being perfect, but being different from this perverse generation. The effect that God has had on us through these years of church is a lifelong one that will see us through all the way to heaven one day. My favourite camps were um, Greater Works and Many Are Called. Um, Greater Works, I remember specifically somebody had a vision of us youth standing at the front of the camp and angels were arming us. They were putting helmets on us, putting swords in our hands, breast the breastplate of righteousness, all these different armors on, on our bodies. And the Lord said, yes, we are ready because he has provided us with the armor. And I think at that moment, I felt for the first time probably equipped to actually do what God wanted me to do. When I think back to youth camp, I think of the first ever camp we had in 2004, from glory to glory. That experience had such an enormous effect on all of our Christianity, I'm sure, and especially mine, I can say personally that through that one camp experience, I found myself loving God more and seeking to know Him more and to discover Him and actively chasing people to also taste and see that the Lord is good. And by the grace of God today, many years on, I can say that my life has been transformed and changed. I've been to every single youth camp since then. We thank God for doing such a wonderful and marvellous work through such a thing as Youth Camp. We thank God for Bishop Dyke Hewitt Mills with a vision and a heart for young people. Really, you guys, you should expect something. In this land, in London, in the United Kingdom, you should expect the move of God. And it's not going to be the older generation, it's going to be the new generation that's going to spearhead it. I'm so glad that I'm a part of it. I mean, not part of it in the sense that I'll be a part of it, but 
part of it in the sense that I'm one of the people who was there to provoke people to love and good works. And I always say I love the young people. I was, I, I, I was saying and I said all the time that you guys will do better than we did. And you guys may even get better crowns than we will get. But well, it's not a problem. Fortunately, in heaven, there's no jealousy. <laughs> because of the dedicated shepherds God has given us, we are all growing up into lifelong believers, into Christian professionals, husbands and wives, fathers and mothers, ministers, pastors, and missionaries for the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you are in a young people's church or ministry, we are a living message to you. It is worth living for Jesus. And I'm talking to you. Find yourself at church every week. Attend camps and retreats. Get deeper and do more in your church. You are not just Sunday school children. You are the lifespan of your church. Bring your friends. Eat your Bible. Memorize scriptures. Pray and give your energy to serving God. Money, boyfriends, girlfriends, these things cannot save us. But the Lord will save you as you work for Him. Please live for Jesus. Your effort will never be in vain. My friends in LCI, by God's grace, we will always have these memories to stand on. From the bottom of my heart, I love you all. And I pray we will all be in heaven for all of eternity. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done through our brave and wonderful pastors. And thank you for the privilege to know and serve you as a young person. As we say goodbye to this phase of life, I pray we will never forget where we came from and always remain youthful in the name of Jesus.